Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Cynthia for Arbiz.com. And I'm Sherry. And Sherry is here with me. And in this video, we're going to show you how to make this really beautiful bracelet. Uh, we had a customer asking how to make it and if we, show, we could show it on a video. So I thought, hey, let's just make it. And I'm going to show Sherry actually how to make it. And I'm really excited. Yeah, I, you are. I just love this bracelet and I've not um, done one like this. So cool, I'm cool, really, cool. I think this will be fun. Yes. Misty says hi. Good hi. morning. So if you are on Facebook, um, Katie will answer uh, your questions <coughs> and your comments. But if you are watching us on YouTube, you will find all the links um, below this video. And remember to subscribe to our uh, channel and uh, follow us on Facebook too because we have so many videos and tutorials. So let's start. Yay. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, at first, I want to point out that uh, we do have instruction on the site. And did you know that you can print them? And we have a print button, and then you can print all the instruction. And on this one, we have pictures step by step also. So if you don't remember what's happening in this video, of course, you can watch it again. But then you can go on our website. The name of this uh, bracelet is Dance and Fly. <laughs> Yeah. Damsel Damselfly. Damsel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. And uh, you can see the step-by-step -step also uh, instruction. Which is nice too, because you can even write notes on there. And exactly. And have that. So yes. To tell you the truth, I couldn't remember how I did this because it's been a while, huh? it's been a while so I wrote notes also. <laughs> so hopefully I can remember everything. <laughs> Julie says hello. Susan says good morning. Maria, good morning. Everybody's saying hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. So I love, love making this bracelet. So I did this one. Uh, that was the original. Um, and then I made this one here that I have on my wrist. And it's exactly the same pattern, but I just changed some beads. And then I made this one also. It's exactly the same technique. Again, I changed the beads in the middle and on the top. And I'm going to show you so this original bracelet and I'm using those beads. So we have some uh, tile beads. Love, love, love those beads. They double, they two whole beads. And then we have some uh, mini daggers. Um, and I just love, mm. we have so many colors so pretty. of these. And then I'm using some uh, Toho round uh, 11 art. So talking about colors. Um, Sherry, <laughs> you had a difficulty for choosing the colors, well, I right? I couldn't decide. I um, had three choices. I have these gorgeous turquoisey blue um, beads and they kind of have this halo of green around them. Right. And this was the first choice, this gorgeous um, green, which I love. This, this is the bead that caught my attention. Right. But then I thought, well, what, you know, what does that look like on my complexion? Because it will be the edge. And so I just kind of put it on my wrist and thought, well, I wonder if it's a little pale because I'm mm -hmm. a little pale. And um, so I have these other two blues, uh, turquoisey blue and a bluer color. And so then I put the blue and I like the contrast right. that that oops, gave me. Um, okay, that's not going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> And so then I was perplexed. Like. Which one? Um, so then I asked Becky, and Becky said, oh, I love the green. And I thought, you know, that was the one that caught my attention first. Yes. So that's what I'm going to go with. Let's go with Yay. it. <laughs> Misty yeah. says the green is amazing. It's Her fall. such a pretty green. Yes, it's, it's an amazing color. It's a little opal-y and oh, yes. just beautiful. So a lot of people ask how to choose colors. Well, this is something that you can do like Sherry did. Just take the bead and put it on, on your hand and see how it goes with your complexion. Right. I like, like this, this lighter idea. green was just gorgeous on your complexion. Your, I'm a little tanner. Your darker tone, so, yeah, um, it's just beautiful. Beautiful, yes. kind of popped. And yes, so but it is a beautiful. Green. It, it is such a beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna love it. Okay, <laughs> okay. So we're using uh, a um, the one G thread. Um, I really love this thread, and I have to say that for my original bracelet, I used Fireline, and then when I started to make this bracelet, I used Fireline again, and I have some trouble putting the tile beads together. I was pulling and pulling on the thread and it was a little difficult. And I thought, how did I do that before? 
So I switched to the 1G thread and I realized that uh, dealing with a thread like that was so much easier than the Fireline for that project. Of course, there are projects that are great for Fireline. So you just have to test. Um, you can do both. But for me, I, I find that that was much easier. Um, I'm choosing red for you to be able to see the thread as I'm working. Um, otherwise, on this one, I just had the white uh, thread for this bracelet. Uh, one thing that I love with the 1G is the color of the thread match the Toho beads so well. So that's why I use it a lot too. Beautiful. And look yeah. at this dispenser. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 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 this is so cool. Oh, it's such a great, great dispenser. <laughs> I love it. So um, here on my sample, so Vicky is just coming around to make sure that you can see closer. And we're going to make sure that Vicky is not falling. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> okay. Lynn is asking what size fire line did you use originally? I think it was the eight pounds. Mm -hmm. So it could be the eight or the six. Um, what was that? Oh, yes. So for now, for working now, my thread is um, pretty short. But um, you can have like a two yard thread if you don't want to change your thread uh, in the mm -hmm. middle. And I like to leave a pretty long tail because we're going to use the tail also to attach the clasp. So think about, you know, I'm so thinking about eight to 12 inches yes. of a tail maybe. So this is, uh, I think this is one of my tails, so it's pretty long. Mm -hmm. And I like to make it really long just okay. to make sure when I use uh, my clasp. Okay. So I have the, uh, the thread. So you start by picking up the lighter bead and then a dagger and another bead and no okay let's do that again you thread your tile bead first and then you thread your seed bead dagger bead and another seed bead and you go in the other side of the tile so then your beads are on the top like that pretty okay then I'm taking another tie bead so I'm gonna align the tie bead like that and I'm gonna go okay Sherry and I'm gonna mm -hmm. go and uh, that seed bead so you have the seed bead here I'm gonna go and uh, it here okay so kind of like a, almost kind of like a square stitch. You're circling yeah. that bead onto its side. Misty's asking instead of daggers, would super duos work? The super duos could work. Um, what would be a super uno? The super uno, yes. Um, it's just going to be much bigger than the mini dagger. So it's going to take more space here on top of your tile bead. So I don't know how the seed bead is going to align with that. You can try. <coughs> I mean, I love the Super Uno too. Um, so what I did is I thread like that and I went up again with my needle. So your thread is coming out of... It's coming out to my first hole. bead. Okay. Yeah. Let's she would you mind grabbing me a tissue, please? I'm sorry, I'm having it's bad okay. allergy. <laughs> and then, so I'm coming up to my first... Uh, thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. So my first uh, bead and I'm gonna go back inside the second tile. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna go back here. So I kind of made a loop. And I'm gonna do that again so you will see it again. And you want to tight everything together. So they sit side by side real nice. Yes. Okay. So it's kind of like a ladder stitch. It is. Yeah, a ladder yeah, stitch. It there is. And then I'm gonna pick up again my um, set of beads, so it's a seed bead, the dagger bead, and another seed bead, and I'm going to go back through that second bead, right? Kyla says she has not ever worked with two whole beads or seen it done, so she's excited for this. Yeah, and you know, I find this pretty easy. I love, love, love tie beads. I love working with them. Um, if you want to start with a two whole beads, I think the tile beads are the best, and the super duo too. Um, those are pretty easy. So I came out again here, and I'm gonna add my 
third tile bead. Oops, sorry. So you see how it, it's going this way, so I'm kind of flip it to make sure that it goes side by side. And then remember you go you going and uh, that teeny seed bead here. Not through it. No. <laughs> and uh, it. Yeah, passing. Okay. So so far is it clear for everyone? Yeah, basically is that okay? it's a ladder stitch. It's yes. just you're embellishing one edge of it as you go. Exactly. Oh, beads. And now I'm going back inside. That's the tile bead. And make sure to tight everything once in a while. Okay. You don't want too much of a... I usually hold my work, so let me hold my work like that. Okay, and I can pull on the thread. And then I'm grabbing another set. I'm going back in that bead. Okay, I'm grabbing another tile bead. And again, remember, you're going and uh, that seed bead here. So I like holding my work, like I said, because then I can pull and mm -hmm. make it tighter. Vic, is that clear for everyone? I think so. Okay. I'm just going to do a little more, and then I'm going to do the second row. I mean, it's pretty uh, simple right now. Kathy Savage is asking, what is the name of the blue bead in the middle? This one here? Yeah. This is a tile bead. Yeah. And um, Kitty should be able to send you a link to the name of it. And Susan is asking, could you use Tila beads instead of tile beads? You could. Um, actually, this bracelet. Sorry, yeah. This bracelet, those are Tila beads. Oh, pretty. So you see how they're much flatter than this one here? So it is possible. Cool. I love that dark color, mm -hmm. red. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my tile beads here. Again, I'm going and uh, that seed bead. Like that. And I'm going back in the bead that I just added. I'm grabbing the set of beads to decorate that edge. I'm going this way. Kyla says you're explaining it very well. Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to do one more and then we're going to switch to do the second row. So I'm grabbing my towel bead. Again, I'm going and uh, my seed bead. So if you're doing this for real, you would want to go the length of your bracelet. Exactly. Right? So you keep going until you have, like uh, Vicky said, the length of your bracelet. And then when you have the length, then you add the second row. Okay. So that's it for the first row. So just keep doing that. Keep doing that. <laughs> and then, so I already have my row here. That is done. Let's see, where is my needle? Um, my needle here, as you can see, is bent. This is very normal. <laughs> Don't be concerned. It's because I it's the way how you hold it. Yeah. And I, I I bent all my... Oh, mine. I brought two very bent needles with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this green, by the way. It's so oh, you pretty. do? Yeah, oh. isn't that pretty? I oh, love that. I love that, Sherry. I love that. Okay, so I want to make sure that I remember my instruction here. I've got my paper <laughs> with me. Okay, so the now step-by-step step photos. I know. So you want to add <coughs> this second row here and the beads in the middle. So we're gonna do that. So in the middle, I have those teeny seed beads. So I'm grabbing that. And then I have a tile bead. 
and I want to put the daggers and the seed beads right away. So seed bead, dagger, seed bead. And I'm going down that bead here. Janet says, hi, Cynthia, uh, Sherry, and Becky. Hi, Hello. good morning. <laughs> We're making this really yeah. cool bracelet. This is one of my favorites. And now I need to add another seed bead. Oops, let's just fly. And I'm gonna go inside that first bead. So I'm gonna go inside that bead here and I'm not gonna go through the seed bead that is on the top. I'm gonna go and uh, that seed bead. There. And then I'm going and uh, the seed bead that is on the side. I hope everyone can see. So let me put, so I went and uh, that seed bead. Now I'm going through and uh, that seed bead and through the tile bead. So not through the seed bead. Not through the seed bead. Just through the tiles. Yes. Oh, Misty said those tiles in just a single row would be a cute little bracelet too. It right will there. be, yes. That's a great idea too. And then I need to add my seed bead and my tile. Here. And I'm gonna go through, I'm go I have to connect that bead to that bead. So I need to go through that bead again. If I keep going this way, then those two beads are not connected. So you need to remember to always connect the beads to each other. Oops, sorry. No problem. I'm gonna go through here. And I think what I did all the way down Oops. so now those two bits are connected Oops. let's see I'm having a what did I did next <laughs> um, I'm sorry I'm having a Yes. So yeah, it looks like you did yeah. that same thing. I did that. Okay. So I did. Okay. So this is what the mistake that I just made here. I went through that seed bead. I shouldn't. So I'm going to go back out. Like I said, fortunately, I have those instructions because I haven't made that for a while. Okay. So now my thread is under the seed bead. I'm going back and the the next seed bead going through everything. Make sure that you grab the seed bead in the middle and you see I didn't. And that happened. So you do you want to go through that? Yes. So you want to go through every single bead here. And now I'm missing the tile. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't want to. There we go. Carol's asking, what would you do if one wants to make a three row bracelet? Could you do it? I think you could. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, so you don't put those um, bead here, you don't put the dagger, you just put the seed bead and you keep going. Ooh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I need Challenge to try accepted. that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be very pretty. So is that what I'm bringing to the Monday live? <laughs> <laughs> Becky is challenging me now. <laughs> so I have here my seed bead dagger and seed bead. I'm going through the tile bead first, just the first tile bead, because I need to add my seed bead in the middle. And I'm gonna go through and out the next dagger and uh, the seed bead. Okay, don't go through the seed bead, go under it. Like 
that and now I'm going under the seed bead that is here and through the tile bead and sometimes the thread wants to catch everything at the same time I'm fortunately my thread is red I can see that very clearly It really wants to go behind the bead. There we go. Um, so again, I'm adding my seed bead in the middle, my tile bead. Lynn's asking how much thread you should start with. You know, um, I think with a two yards. Yeah. Um, I don't usually work with the long uh, thread <coughs> like that. I will add a thread in the middle and I will show you how to do that later. Uh, but if you don't want to, you can do a uh, two yards of thread. So now I'm not adding my top beads here. I need to connect that bead to the next bead. So I'm going under the seed bead. Is that okay, Becky? You can see. Mm -hmm. So under the seed bead through the tile, through the middle seed bead, through the tile, and under the other seed bead. You don't go through. You go under. Sandra says, simply beautiful. Well, thank you. There. Now I'm going and uh, the seed bead that is on the other side, going through the middle seed bead and through the tile. There. I'm adding my seed bead dagger seed bead and I'm going through the tile bead first Karen says I'm thinking you can make the bracelet three or four rows long. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh stop challenging me <laughs> I think uh, yeah several rows will, will be gorgeous so I'm going through the tile bead and and uh, the seed bead. I want to try the three rows. I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. I need to see how that will work. So now I'm going through, uh, sorry, and uh, that seed bead. So I bring my needles and uh, the seed bead and going inside the tile bead. Okay. And that's it, you just repeat that over and over. And here I think I tied it too much because my tiles were, are not straight. So let's do that one more time. And then, so my seed bead, my middle seed bead, my tile bead. Don't put the uh, top beads yet because you want to connect this bead to the previous bead. So I'm going to go through and uh, the seed bead, inside the middle bead, inside the tile bead, and end uh, the bottom seed bead. Sherry, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I okay. did make a mistake on the very first one. I didn't get the... When I came out of my thread here, I didn't make that connection here. I went all the way down and then went up, so I've got this gap. I don't have a thread connecting those two beads, but I corrected it for the oh, others. Cool. So um, if I'm doing a clasp and adding thread at this end, then I'll go in and I'll shore that up a little bit. Oh, cool. Yay. Yay. Oh, it's there so is pretty. It is really pretty. Love the colors. Mm -hmm. There is always a way to uh, fix your mistake. Yeah. yeah. I could have gone back, too. I could have undone a few but beads and fixed uh, it, but... Um, it'll work. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I was asking if um, I was worried if there was too much thread in the uh, tile bead. And no, actually. Um, and I think it's because the hole in the tile bead is pretty big, so you can go through mm -hmm. the hole several times. 
And I like it because it's also reinforced my work. Mm -hmm. um, going through several times like that. So my, my uh, necklace I know is not going to break because I have a lot of yeah. <laughs> thread inside. <coughs> Misty was saying she wants to make this later today if she can find some drops, but I did want to point out that the bracelet you're wearing actually has fire polished beads instead yes. of drops. Yes. So you can play so with a lot of different e kinds. Exactly. So it's exactly the same thing, but here it's a little, uh, I think it's a four millimeter fire yeah, three polish. Or or three or four. And it is on, on the site. Mm -hmm. It is on rbs.com. So you can play. You can also just add another seed bead and not worry about a bigger one like on here it kind of looked like a pico edge mm -hmm. because i added just a seed bead like that so you have really different ways of doing uh, the edge mm -hmm. and then next time you know you just grab some dagger beads and have more fun make another mm -hmm. one because <laughs> when you start really you will want to make others uh, because it's not that difficult so here I went through the seed bead and uh, sorry under the seed bead through the tile through the middle bead through the tile and now I can put the mini dagger I love those mini daggers mm -hmm. I love bracelets that have dangling things right mm -hmm. fringy mm -hmm. fringy yes yeah. love that. yes and then I need to add the seed bead in the middle and I go and uh, the seed bead in the bottom. I'm um, talking about going several times like that in the tile bead. It's important that your uh, needle is not too thick. Mm. So the one that I'm using here, it's the number 12, the tulip um, needle, and it's pretty thin. So that's why I can go several times also through um, that bead. Okay, so is that clear for everyone? Mm hmm. <laughs> Cherie is good. Yeah, yeah, this is really pretty. This works out pretty fast. It does. These are good sized beads, and so um, you could finish this pretty quickly. I think so. Mm, I think so. I think it goes pretty fast. So my next step will be, let's see my notes here. Uh, we want to add the bead. Let me show you this bracelet. We want to add that bead in the middle here, just to add something. I mean, you could leave it this way. I did. Even I don't more have. Decoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but hey, do we have enough beads? Never enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I have here. I already prepared one here. So I finished. Let's say I finish um, those rows. Here I use a little uh, bead stopper. I love, love, love those teeny bead stoppers. They're great for uh, seed beading like that. So what's happening? So let's say it was like that. That was my first bead. We did the first row. We did the second row. And now I'm ending with um, actually this bead. It should be here. So that's my tail. Oh no, I know what I did. Actually, that was my tail. And that's the top, yes, like that. I put my needle in the wrong, the wrong thread here. Misty says bead stoppers have been her lifesaver. Can't oh, be without I them. I <laughs> know, I know. I love the big one for normal stringing, but for seed beading, I love those teeny, teeny ones. Um, so I, so yes, this is my first bead with my tail, and I went this way, went this way, and now I'm ending here. I'm gonna add another bead. So that's the bead in the middle. And then I need to um, go here and add another bead here in the middle. And to do this, I need to bring my thread. So my thread is here at that bead. I need to bring my thread in that side of the tile bead and then out here and put my bead here. 
okay? If I do that, like that, without doing nothing, my bead gonna uh, move on the side. So I need to find a way to keep my bead straight like that because I really want to go here, <laughs> you know? So to avoid the, for the bead to slide like that, I just made a knot and that secure my bead in place. That was the simple solution that I find. It's like, oh, if I just make a knot, what happened? So let's make a knot. And let's see. There we go. And I'm just making a, 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 a simple knot. that and I think I even did twice and you tied it so I still have my tail here and then I have my needle here and now my my um, bead is secure so I can go directly to that side of the bead so let me grab my work so I'm going under that bead here and I think my needle is too big because I cannot there we go my needle is a little thick Caitlin's asking if you make a mistake can you undo to fix it you can you can because I did make several mistakes so you can just pull mm -hmm. your bead uh, it goes pretty easily yes or like Sherry said earlier how she missed like connecting some of the tiles but she can go back later with thread mm -hmm. to fix it's them. Like reinforcing. Yes. And just make sure you catch where the mistake was. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I, I went under that bead through the gold bead. Make sure that my thread is not tangled. There. So you can see the, the thread is here, is red, so you can see it on the bead, but if it's white, you wouldn't see anything. So now I'm out on that um, top bead, and I'm gonna add another color. So I want a darker seed bead, and I'm gonna go through here, that bead. And then I need to add a bead here too, so I'm gonna go through all of them. So there, this is where I am. there so I have my bead here and I'm gonna add another bead and I'm gonna go through all of these there my needle is thick I should have chosen a, a smaller needle because this is not a uh, this is a ten so it's a thicker and I'm out here. So what I like is because that bead, sometimes I like to reinforce things. So I'm just gonna go through that bead here. So it's adding another thread to the bead. So it, it makes it more secure to me. And I'm gonna go back up. Oops, where are you? There we go. Go back up through all the beads. And then I'm gonna go through the dagger, through the seed bead, and I'm gonna go down through all the beads. And I'm gonna add my other bead here. So I'm adding my bead and I'm gonna go through all of them. There, I can add now my seed bead here. And I'm gonna go down. Oops, I'm missing a bead here. Like 
that and then I'm going through here and then back up definitely use a uh, I'm just struggling because I I didn't have the the same needle here then I'm gonna go through the dagger bead through the seed bead here there is I was thinking is there another way to do this <coughs> and I was looking at um, what I'm doing here you know it's not I don't think there is one way to do things I always think that when you weave there you know there are so many different ways to do um, this is the way that I chosen to do this but let me see some um, yes and, you know and I'm looking at the path too and I'm thinking because it seems like you're circling around a lot but it yep. really does seem to be the best path the most you efficient know, the I most say. the most yeah. efficient and, and it is strengthening the bracelet as it goes it does so yes. um because i yeah. was thinking yeah. so i have my bead here could i just go just yes so what i could do is i could bring my needle here go on the other side no actually see i'm thinking right. can i do it right. an, another way um, what I want to do is to add the bead both side mm -hmm. at the same time mm -hmm. and um, right now it seems to me that is the the way to do it mm -hmm. if you find another way please let us know yeah this way you don't see that you could run your thread across beads but this way you don't see the thread which you don't is see nice, the yeah. yes you don't see the thread at all here yeah. you can see because I have read that um, Sherry, I'm pretty sure you don't see on, on yours. Right. Yeah, no, I like this path. Okay. <laughs> and, and again, I, it's reinforcing my beads. I like that too. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm going through the dagger bead here. Someone said they like your ring. Oh, thank you. This is part of a, a kit, actually, that I made. Love, love those rings. And then I'm going down the seed bead through everything and through the other seed bead. So is that clear for everyone, Vicky, so far? I think so. Okay. I think everyone just wants to try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, again, I love uh, to hold beads. I was very intimidated by them. What can I do? What can I do <laughs> with them? And then I thought, you know, tile beads seems to be a very simple bead to try. And um, I just love the tile beads. I just love working with them. Oh, this time I have to go through everything. So again, if you're not, um, if you're not used to work with two whole beads, just, just try this bracelet. It's, it's it's really oh um, someone is also asking if you're using a long needle or a standard length um i think that's pretty standard in uh I'm sure, using what do you long. think is that long so if we can compare yours it's a little shorter but oh no. is it no it's that's not much the same, yeah Just i know that there is shorter mm -hmm. um, it's not a short yes sure, yeah but I'm you know sure. when you do a work like that when you have you have to go through all those beads mm -hmm. It's better to have a long one than a shorter one. Um, there is much shorter for sure. Yeah, because the full length of your needle can go through and you still have something to hold on to. Yes. So I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna show you how to add a clasp and what to do um, when you run out of thread. There, and I'm gonna add that bead here okay the beauty of videos is um, that you can stop rewind watch again <laughs> stop rewind <Yeah. laughs> 
so this is how it's decorated again you don't have to add that um, extra bit if you don't want to but look at the difference between those two I do prefer to have a little uh, darker bit in the middle it kind of add something right but it's wherever you feel comfortable and whatever you uh, you like so done yeah. with this one yeah I love the bead I did the little pop of pink and I think that that Isn't is that really pretty? cute Sherry yeah. pretty. really pretty very cute okay so uh, let's add the clasp now so this is my tail where I was and um, I'm gonna use this really pretty clasp here and I want a thin uh, I'm feeling my needles right now which one is thinner and I think I like this one you see it's bent so I mean it's, it's pretty thin the trick sometimes with those thinner needles is to thread your thread so you see I don't know if uh, you do like that but what I like to do is I just bring my thread between my two fingers and I press on it and I don't bring the thread inside the needle. It's the needle that's going in the... Um, and, and you can move like that. So the needle is going sliding on the thread. And then I'll just pull that. Oops. Let's do that again. There we go. So this is um, very easy to do and let's see on this one I did directly I didn't add a bead no nothing I just uh, sew directly on uh, that bead and uh, on this one what did I do oh just put jump rings smart I know I'm just like whoa that was a great idea what I did here oh. <laughs> I just uh, yeah oh let me see that again <laughs> yeah. sometimes <coughs> I just surprise myself so Easy. What I, yeah so what I did here is I weave my thread inside the bracelet and then I just add a jump ring you said I'm tired of weaving <laughs> <laughs> it must be that it's like enough of this <laughs> and here too so you can add as many uh, jump ring as you want and uh well, that was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny how we forget sometimes mm -hmm. what we do. Okay, so let's see. I don't want to make that mistake. Uh, yes, that goes here. So this is it that I need to uh, sew. Very easy. I'm just going to put that through the loop of the clasp. I'm on this teeny bead and I'm just gonna go through that teeny bead like that go back so you just do that around that small bead and it's pretty strong um, when I did it I thought oh would I be strong enough because it's just on one bead but I've been wearing my bracelet for a long time and Never had trouble. Uh oh. I just flung my needle. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, so I do several rows like that. And when I'm happy about that, I'm just going to weave my thread in my bead. So I ended here. I'm just going to weave like that. And I like to go and uh, the beads like that the thread is just um, is hidden under the bead and let's see where am I I'm here one thing that I like to do with that bracelet is I can make a knot so the way how to do that you just go I can see a thread here can you see it there is a teeny thread going in between mm. so I'm going under I'm grabbing that thread actually and then I'm going back 
to that loop and I'm just making a teeny knot here and I want this knot to be hidden so I'm gonna go inside that seed bead and uh, the top seed bead and I'm pulling and you won't see the thread again this is a red you see how the the knot went kind of under that bead you don't even see the knot here and I keep weaving because I like to make sure that um, it's secure like that I can go here uh, let's see sometime I'm, it's too tight so you can go somewhere else but I think I can do that and I'm going and up and here too and I'm thinking oh maybe I should just make another knot so I'm going to show you again how I'm making this knot I can see the thread here I'm just gonna go under and grab it with my needle mm -hmm. and then I'm going back through the loop here and I'm just gonna tie it and then I want to hide that knot so I keep going straight in the bead and the knot's gonna be end up like that when I cut my thread my needle went through so when I cut my thread I do not cut my thread at the edge like that I don't like it so I'm gonna go through those beads and I'm gonna cut my thread right here so it's still to the inside you don't have it to the inside yeah. yeah I don't like mm -hmm. outside thread I don't mm -hmm. you know maybe you can see it maybe not but I just want to make sure that um, if I'm more secure if I do in the inside than uh, the outside I need to cut and of course it's always when you are in front of a video <laughs> live and things mm -hmm. are not working right mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so I'm not gonna do it because I want to show you something else but don't cut your thread here go back in that tile bead at the end here and cut it here okay so this is how you do a clasp it's very easy you do the same on the on the other side but now the other side you don't have any thread because uh, your two threads were ending here so you're missing a thread here I'm gonna cut that because I don't want you to get confused so how do you do to um, add another thread very simple and uh, when I add the thread, when I weave, um, I just like weaving my thread first through several beads. And again, there is no right or wrong way to do it. I mean, you, you just have to, the way how I know if my thread is secure, I just pull on it. If it's slide between the beads, that means I need to do more uh, rows, and uh, that means my thread is not secure yet. Ah, my needle is really small right now. <laughs> I'm adding a new thread. You are um, okay. As well, yeah. I've run short. I'm. Um, that was about two yards worth, but I'm doing both sides. If right. I, this would have gotten me, yeah, probably down one mm -hmm. whole side. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've run out as I'm adding these beads. So I'm going to add the thread in the same way that Cynthia is um, by just weaving it where I need it to be next. Oops. I have either need to add a, a side mm -hmm. bead there or here. And this is the tail. I haven't cut it yet, but this was the end where I left off. Mm -hmm. And so I'll probably go back a little ways and just weave it through until I get to... The point where I add the bead, and, exactly. and like you said, if it's still loose, with this design, it's easy to do that little knot in between yes. if you need to. 
Um, so same, same, same. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so let's do that. So what I need to do is I need to end up here because I need to put the other side uh, of my clasp like I did here. So I'm thinking, okay, how far, you know, if I go somewhere here, start to add my thread here, they give me enough beads to go around and to end up here. So you need a good amount of, of beads to make sure that you weave in between and to make sure that your thread is secure. Again, I don't like to start from the edge. I don't think it looks nice. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna start here. Um, Chris said they're gonna make, they're trying to make a bracelet like this with Rizzo beads. Yes, mm -hmm. and pretty. this one is actually uh, with Rizzo oh, yeah. uh, beads. And um, we don't have as many colors as the mini daggers. So then I find the mini daggers and I was so excited <laughs> because of the colors. Uh, so here we go, having my thread. You don't need to leave a, a big tail, but what I like to do is to fold my tail and hold it with my thumb. Like that, it's not gonna um, move too much. And then I'm thinking maybe I'll just bring, I don't need to go all the way. And then I'm gonna go here. And I'm thinking, so I'm gonna go end up, oops, end up that bead. And to make sure that it's um, really, really secure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around that bead and that should secure my thread pretty well. The beauty of those tile beads is there is enough space on the edge of the bead that your uh, thread can rest on it and you don't see it. There we go, look, it's pretty um, hidden. So if I pull it, you see my tail is not moving at all. So that means it's pretty secure. What I can do, like um, Sherry said, I could add a knot also, um, but I'm pretty happy with what I have now. So I keep going until I reach the other end. So right now I'm not going through every single bead. I'm just going through those tile beads, but I make sure that I go and uh, the seed beads every time. Here, and uh, this one. And once in a while I like to stop also and look at my path. It's like, okay, am I going in the right direction? Mm -hmm. Where am I ending up? And it's like, okay, so now I'm going here and I need to be there. And that's possible. So I need to be on that bead. So I'm gonna go this way. And grab that bead. There, and I'm ready to attach the um, other uh, side of the clasp in here. And I do exactly the same that I did um, for the other side. I'm just going around this like that. One. Oops. Two and one more time. And um, like I said, it's, it's pretty strong. Like that, and then I'm gonna weave my thread. So now if you want that bead, if you feel like, oh, you know what, I'm pulling on it, that bead doesn't feel very secure. Well, the simple solution is to go back with your thread. So let's do that. So here I'm going through, I'm going under every single bead. Again, the towel beads have this edge here that can uh, support your thread and you don't see it. So 
so then I go and uh, that's CD. I just want to reinforce that teeny CB that I have my clasp on. So I want to go through the CB again. And I'm going under. And I'm thinking, do I like that? Is it strong enough? Oh, let's do it again. And you see how many times I go through those beads and um, I still, my needle and my thread are still going through. So put it tight. Like, you see how the, the bead here is getting tighter now? Yeah, that's nice. So y there is way to reinforce your work. If you have um, the right needles, you know, not too thick, you can do that. So now that feels very secure to me. And I'm just gonna um, weave my thread and finish it. There, I'm gonna weave my thread here. And you know, sometimes I have done some work and uh, my whole work feel like, oh, those beads are kind of loose. I go through my work mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. you know, just with thread, just to make sure that everything is stable. And stable. Yeah. And, and like you said, by changing up to a smaller needle size allows you to be able to do that in some cases. Some cases you don't need to switch to right. a smaller needle, but if, if, um, all you do is switch to a, a smaller needle to mm -hmm. be able to do that. That's um, important. Yes. So good reason to have a variety of needle sizes. Exactly, exactly. Um, I'm going to do a knot here to show you again. Oops. Don't bead with the other bracelets hanging around. I know, that's why I don't like beading with long thread <laughs> because <laughs> things get tangled. And so I'm grabbing that. Thread oh, Kathy down. says she's made about 20 of these bracelets. <gasps> really? Yay. I know, that's so oh, much that's fun. That's so much fun to do. So I did a tighter <laughs> knot here, and I want the knot to be hidden, so I'm going to go back inside. And just because I like things secure, I keep going. And you can go, you know, you can go just one, you can go several time and you can um, she says they make great gifts mm -hmm. that's true that's true it's never too early to think about christmas gift gosh mm -hmm. i mean really in an afternoon you could yes. do um, your christmas shopping would be done two, <laughs> yeah, two or three of these yes it really goes definitely. that fast definitely uh, let's see so right now i think i can just cut i'm pretty happy with uh with that there we go and i can cut my tail here this is the teeniest bracelet ever <laughs> <laughs> for a doll <laughs> <Isn't that> cute <laughs> but um and then my clasp here uh, it goes on the side and this clasp here is a little different the way how um it's made so um that's why it's flat here so again you can choose different clasps here I did a um, a toggle, and again I just add jump ring. So here my clasp is a little different. Oh, on this one, so this one um, is exactly the same technique, but instead of having just a one bead here in the middle, I'm having three. So I just go with three. Mm, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Yes, I love that. So those are tile be uh, tila beads. And then I use the, um, I don't know the name the of The symbol that. component. The, the symbol, yes, to finish here. So that's really pretty. And you see, you have so many ways of doing that bracelet. And on this one, let me push everything. Oops, sorry. Um, on this one, I, I'm thinking, okay, do I want the beads here? Now I'm, I'm changing my mind. Maybe I just <laughs> leave it this way and not put an extra bead here. I don't know yet. But there is so much you can do with that. It's a love great, it. great, great design. And Cherie, I, I love, love it that. too. Isn't that pretty? I, I love, love that, that too. little pop of that coppery red in there. So pretty. Each one's so different. 
Yes, it <laughs> is. It is. I mean, I, I, every time we receive some new talbis, I'm like, oh, what, what can I do with that? And I always go to uh, this technique because it's, it goes pretty fast. Did you like it, Chai? Oh, I love it. Cool. I was just sort of petting it. <laughs> it's no, just it's has really such a smooth. smooth <laughs> it's such a wearable smooth bracelet. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's really, really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope we inspire you too. I hope you had fun uh, bidding with us. And uh, if that video inspires you, please like and leave um, some comments on the video. And if you're on Facebook, please share this video. We love inspiring um, other bidders. It's all about having fun together, yeah. right? <laughs> And um, if you're on YouTube, keep uh, watching to the end for links uh, to other great Arby's Cafe. And uh, we have a lot of other video tutorials too. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, to click on the bell button. Like that, you will get notified for every single new video that we launch. We have about one new video every week, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of weeks, yes. And remember to uh, head up to arbis.com for all your jewelry needs. Uh, we have a lot of findings and beautiful tile beads like that. <laughs> and follow us also. We have uh, other um, uh, social media like uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. <laughs> Try to yeah, remember with yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We can keep them busy. Huh? Yes. But <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Sherry, for thank being you. with me That's today. Fun. Merci beaucoup, au revoir, à bientôt. Mm, bye bye. <laughs>